Hello, today going to be a very interesting video because I'm going to show you how to solve different uh, genetic problems with different rules of probability and today's question is to determine the probability of having first a boy then a girl and finally a boy we would use and here is the four answers you may stop video here think about uh, these answers choose your own answer and then run video again and compare your answer with my answer and explanation so I would start with answer D uh, rule of segregation we use whenever we can also solve a problem using a Punnett square so when we can solve problem using Punnett square for example just imagine that this is two parents and capital A stands for the red color and a small a stands for the white color and this is going to be male parent and this is going to be female parent so uh, rule of segregation tell us that two alleles in a diploid organism would separate and would produce two different uh, genotypes of the uh, sperm for example for the male uh, or X if it is female so and these two uh, types of gametes will will uh, join to form uh, for example in this example uh, three different uh, genotypes and two phenotypes so here we would have three quarters of the red plants and one quarter of the white plants and we also would have here three different genotypes capital A capital A homozygous dominant two out of four heterozygous and one quarter would be homozygous recessive so uh, whenever we can solve a problem using Punnett square uh, rule of segregation of the alleles uh, we use rule of segregation so we cannot solve our problem with this rule so we cross out it uh, now I want to talk about binomial theorem and in order to solve problem using binomial theorem we would use it only in the case when not particular order of the events is given but in our question we are given particular order for example first should be a boy then a girl and finally a boy so particular order is known that is uh, boy girl boy but if uh, our problem wouldn't specify the order or the question would be just uh, what is the probability to have two boys and one girl out of three children so we would express it or abbreviate it as 2b1g or just 2bg uh, so in this case we would use binomial theorem that uh, give us formula and this is going to be b that stands for the boy plus g that stands for the girl raised 3 and we are going to expand it as b raised 3 plus 3b squared g plus 3b g squared plus g raised 3 and we are going to use this part of the formula that uh, explain us uh, we have here two boys as you see and one girl so we are going to use this part of the formula to solve uh, this problem uh, when 
no particular order is given. So I will show you how to solve it. So here we have 3 b squared g and uh, also what is the probability to have a boy or a girl that is one half. Uh, every time when we have a child there is one half probability for this child to be a girl or a boy. So in this case we would use uh, one half we have to uh, substitute for the b and for the g. So we can rewrite this formula as 3 1 half raised 2 multiplied by 1 half. 1 half multiplied by uh, itself going to be 1 quarter multiplied by 1 half going to be 1 eighth and multiplied by 3 this is going to be 3 over 8 and this is going to be our answer if you are still confused or not convinced there is another way how to explain it for example we can have four uh, eight different ways how we can get three children so we can get all three children to be boys we may also have three different ways of the uh, two boys and one girl boy boy girl boy girl boy and girl boy boy we may also have all three children to be girls and we may also have situation with two girls and one boy and uh, three different ways how we can get it and all together as you see there is eight combinations and three out of eight we may have two boys and one girl so three out of eight and as you see this is same answer as we got here using the formula so um, also we can cross out this answer answer b because we can use it only when not a specific order is given and now I want to tell you about when we use a sum rule and we use sum rule when uh, we have to exclude possibilities. For example, if the question would be what is the possibility to have all three children to be of the same gender, the answer would be we may have uh, one out of eight chances um, to be boys or we may also say that we have one chance out of eight for all three children to be girls. So when we ask it such a question that exclude one answer excludes uh, another one because we cannot have simultaneously uh, ch all three children to be boys and girls. So in this case we would say that uh, chances is one eight to be all three children to be boys or one eight chance for all three children to be girls so when we use word or that means that we have to add such probabilities so we use plus sign here and the answer would be 2 over 8 or we can simplify it to be 1 quarter. So we have to cross out this answer. We cannot uh, solve this problem using a sum rule. But answer C would be the easiest to calculate and uh, this is the logic what is the probability for the first child to be a boy and this is 
one half chances that is easy and what is the probability so we use word and what is the probability for the second child to be a girl and once again one half chances the gender of the first child doesn't affect the gender of the second and what is the chances for the third child to be a boy once again and chances once again one half so if we multiply all these chances and we have to use a uh, rule of multiplication uh, to multiply all these uh, individual probabilities because we use word and here and when we use word and that means we have to use a multiplication so answer would be one eight that's all for today please subscribe to my channel i post new videos almost every day write your comments goodbye